Do raccoons actually have superpowers? Welcome back to Shelby on Safari, the place where I, a wild animal biologist, combines her love of animals and pop culture into one. Today, we're gonna be exploring the world of raccoons, and I'll tell you a few cool superpowers that these guys actually have to pay homage to our favorite trash panda, Rocket Raccoon. So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. First up, we see that Rocket is quite adept at building things, which lends itself nicely because raccoons are quite intelligent and highly dexterous. They are seen to use their forepaws a lot, like when they seemingly appear to wash their food. The nerve endings in their forepaws are an incredible four times more sensitive than their hind feet. But then when their fingertips get wet, they'll get even more sensitive. So while it may look like the raccoons are washing their hands and keeping clean is actually more to help them figure out if they actually want to eat what's in their hands. Having their highly dexterous forepaws also comes in handy for being nimble, like Rocket is when he has a knack for stealing things, like the Anulax batteries. And while the raccoon's face seems to have a mask, like that of a bandit. Some scientists believe this is because the black fur around their eyes helps to absorb light and reduce glare, helping to improve their vision. And it's just not the mask that may make raccoons seem like bandits, but also how not picky they are with eating. These guys are known as opportunistic omnivores, meaning they'll pretty much eat whatever is convenient whenever it's convenient from raspberries to eggs, you name it, they'll probably eat it. And their diet is then heavily dependent upon where they are. Like in urban environments, you can imagine their diet is a bit less healthy than that of those that live, say, in woodlands. Because, well, raccoons are not afraid to dig in the trash. Rocket Raccoon is also known for being quite communicative. That was me being very diplomatic. In all seriousness though, raccoons can make over 200 different sounds, ranging from screaming to purring, screeching to hissing and chittering. But they also don't just communicate vocally. Oh no, they also use their body posture, like arching their back or lowering their head to communicate to others how they're feeling. Now more often than not, we see the guardians of the galaxy getting themselves into trouble and they gotta be quick to escape some rather interesting situations. One thing I find really surprising about raccoons is that they can actually run to up to 15 miles per hour in relatively short bursts. But raccoons are also quite good swimmers. However, the normal means for raccoons escaping danger is by simply climbing up a tree. For with their highly dexterous forepaws, they can quickly scale a tree trunk. But to make sure that it is safe to come back down, it's a lot easier to come down head first, which is precisely what raccoons can do because they can rotate their hind feet to allow them to go down the tree head first. Aren't raccoons amazing? There is so much more to the trash panda than meets the eye. Are you looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? I certainly am. I got my tickets booked and I'm ready to go. To keep your adventure going, why not check out my playlist right here on what animals are like real life Pokemon. Go on, click it. I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in that playlist.